Broker Plus and Lender Price, they have paired together like the Wonder Twins makes the greatest couple ever. Now with Broker Plus, they are a POS, an LOS, a CRM, a PPE, an e-signature mobile responsive device that now has more than just pricing. It has AI pricing to help you find the best products available. This thing is sick. It's all in one. It will lower your costs. It will improve your technology base and do it at a time when we've got time to do this when things are slow. Check it out. Get a demo by clicking this banner right over there. Now I swear at the rate we're going right now, guys, one day we're gonna have a single family house in the damn Smithsonian. And when you get the chance to take your grandchildren to DC, you'll go to the Smithsonian, and as you walk through looking at all the dinosaur fossils and the Wright Brothers plane and a Gemini space capsule, you'll eventually come across that house, that single family residence, and you'll be able to point at and tell your grandkids, we used to live in one of these things. And they'll stare at it in awe and wonderment, the same type of wonderment when they looked at that T-Rex the plane and the first generation space capsule. So why do we bring this up? In September, housing starts dropped 8.1% from August to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1.564 million. The yearly decreased pace in home building is mostly attributed to a large decline in the single family sector, which posted an 18.5% yearly decrease compared to a 16.5% annual increase in the multifamily sector. Month over month, both sectors were down, with single family dropping 3.2% and multifamily falling 13.1%. But if you caught what Joanna just said, is multi-unit condos. We've been building too few homes even when they were selling like hotcakes, I tell ya. New home builders act like a cartel fixing high values on homes by limiting inventory. And now that things are slow, builders have just put a freeze on building. However, there is some good news, if you can call it that. Now according to Holden Lewis, a home mortgage expert at NerdWallet, builders are starting construction on fewer single-family homes, but but they've been breaking ground on more apartments and condominiums. Residential developers evidently are responding to the housing affordability crisis by constructing multifamily units, which tend to cost less than houses. Well, that's just great, isn't it? And this is a trend. Single family residences are just too expensive. Joe and Jane, average American, have been priced out of the market and it's not even close. So what do we do? Well, we sell you condos now. Or as we said last week, we sell you more mobile homes whose numbers are off the charts right now. Lenders dust up on your different guidelines for condominiums like CCNRs and HOA solvency and get a mobile home lender because that's the road that we're on due to the policies our politicians have put in place over decades. Now, I'm telling you guys, as I've said before, vote out the incumbent next month because they all did us dirty. Freddie Mac is going to include bank account data as part of its underwriting. They say the move is intended to increase home ownership opportunities and will be available to mortgage lenders through its AUS Loan Product Advisor, LPA. They'll be rolling this out on November 6th. Freddie Mac says the review, after borrowers give permission, will enable lenders and brokers to identify 12 or more months of cash flow activity for inclusion in the tool's risk assessment and can only positively affect the borrower's credit risk assessment. It's not going to do a damn thing. See, the idea is to find ways to approve more loans since we're in one of the biggest housing droughts the country has ever seen. Now, this is nice. It's fine, but it fails to address the real problem. Homes are unaffordable, not even close unaffordable, and the Fed's policies of raising rates and lowering their balance sheet has taken the unattainable and turned it into the impossible, that being home ownership. The policies we need, and frankly, it's a national emergency, is massive, small, smart, affordable homes. Single family residences, because that housing model is going the way of the dodo bird, extinct. Let's write to our elected leaders and tell them to make meaningful change to un and underhoused people to allow for the pride in home ownership once again and stop with these window dressing soapbox meaningless policies. Build homes, not condos, and lots of them. Get the darn Army Corps of Engineer to fix the problem if home builders won't do it and let's put this thing to bed once and for all. I hope this helps. We'll catch you guys on Tuesday. Make it a great day.